Now LiveDoc is basically a document editor that has some pre-generated outputs that we can place on it. For example, notice here that we have a stack up table, which shows all of the layers in our stack up. Here is a summary of the different drills in our board. For example, we only have through holes that go from top to bottom layer. Here is a preview of the top layer copper. And each of these can be selected and you can choose, for example, the scale if you want it rotated, what the title of it is. And then any of these views that you see on the left side here, for example, we can add the second layer can also be dragged and dropped onto this page. Now, by default, this starts on a C-size page. If you need to adjust the size of the page, go ahead and do so on the right side here in the properties, as well as changing the page name. If you need to add another page, at the bottom here, there is a floating toolbar where you can click the Add Page button. And you should see that there's already a second page called Assembly at the bottom here, which has our assembly top layer and we can go ahead and expand that. And what this includes is actually the board outline as well as the assembly top layers sort of pre-generated or predefined for us. If, for example, I want to include other layers in the assembly top view, I can go into the Let's deselect this first. I can go into the visibility tab in the left-hand sided panel. I select my view. In this case, it's the assembly top view. And then I have some options for which uh, different layers I actually want to enable or disable for this view. So for example, I can turn on my silkscreen top, the Orchid X layout tutorial board, the little silkscreen that we drew earlier appears. Or if I want to include, for example, the top layer pins. I can do so by selecting that. And one additional thing that you can do is also add some dimensions and drawings and different notes to your assembly document. We select this option here. This is the linear dimension. Notice that it'll snap to corners. You can also turn on snapping for other objects such as segment midpoints pin centers, etc. So we can snap, snap, and get a linear dimension that we can then, by selecting, adjust the properties for, for example, set it to size 20. Um, let's make it in millimeters. Change the line width. Make it maybe um, orange. And let's add some trailing zeros. And then we can set this as default so that if we add another linear dimension, then it should follow that same format. There we go. So you can use the different options. There is linear, there is ordinate, there is angular dimensions you can add. You can also place general drawings of arcs, shapes, lines, polygons, texts. You can also paste images into your live document. Anything that you would need to help whoever is assembling the board, assemble it for you successfully. I'm going to go ahead and close this. One thing I want to mention is that LiveDoc always exists inside of your design. So at any point, you can always go back to manufacturing LiveDoc and open back up your LiveDoc and make edits. If I make a change to the board, let's just say, for example, that let's move this diode over here. I move this diode. I should see those changes automatically reflected in my live document. And there it goes. It refreshed and the change has come through. So you don't have to worry about regenerating it every time the tool automatically handles that for you. 
Let's go ahead and undo that. Come back to live doc and there it goes. So feel free to play around more with live doc. There's a lot of different options and things that you can do. As you can see, there's some different views and, and charts that you can add 